Milton Obote had chosen the ground carefully for his first rally in Kampala, the old airstrip of Kololo, where back in 1962 he accepted the Charter of Independence. He was back at the scene of his greatest triumph, looking every inch the confident elder statesman. Obote, of course, makes great play of the fact that whatever the failings of his government, it was never tyrannical like Idi Amin's. A point made by women supporters wearing his posters and carrying pictures of husbands murdered under Amin. In the ten days he's been home, Obote has quickly made up for all the years lost. Everybody! Obote is very much the front runner, but he also has his opponents. This is Yoweri Museveni, number two on the military commission which overthrew President Bin Isa last month and will run the country until elections in the autumn. He's now a candidate. He won't say it, but he's fiercely opposed to Obote and fears a one-party state if Obote wins. At the moment, Museveni probably lacks the following to defeat Obote, but it's clear that the military intends to have a strong say in the running of the country, whatever the result of the election. David Smith, ITN, Kampala.